Hello, to connect your Typo C120 camera with your PC, first of all, we have to go into our Typo application. In case you don't already have it, you have to go into your Play Store, type, uh, look for the Typo and install the TP-Link Typo. The next, as you go into the application, you will have to register first. The registration process took around 2 minutes, so it's very quick and simple. Next, you will have to log in and you will be forwarded into this home home screen of this application. So, before we add our device, the camera, you have to... Let's quickly plug it into our power source, so the process will be easier. Let's push it, push the Type-C cable into the camera, so it won't come out loose. Alright, the camera is turning on right now. So right now we can simply press Add Devices and this camera is an outdoor camera so let's go into Outdoor Cameras and right here we have Typo C120 camera we have to select it we have to connect to the power connector but we already did it so let's simply press Next and as you can see we need to, to wait for the camera to blink the, the green and red light as you can see it is blinking red and green LEDs so let's simply press next all right now we have to connect to our uh, to the hotspot of the camera to the wi-fi hotspot so we have to go into our wi-fi uh, wi-fi options and select our camera all right let's go back to the to our application and we have to wait for the camera and for the camera and the application to connect and right now we have to connect our camera with the network and keep in mind note that we have to connect the camera with the same network that our computer is connected to so in my case that would be the pentagram network so let's log into the network all right. To wi and right now we have to wait for the camera to connect with the application. It might take some time. It might take a while. So simply left, leave the connected. leave the application with the phone with the camera next to them, and simply wait for the connection. All right, the camera connected. So now we can change the name of our device. Let me set the name to camera simply. Now we choose the location of where the camera will be located. We can select, select our icon for the camera. For example, let's take this this icon one. And all right, everything is all set up. Here is the Typo Care Cloud Services. We will skip this one, it's not necessary. We already have the SD card inserted. Um, but to insert your SD card, it, you have to insert it uh, from the right side of your camera right here. There is the rubber sealer and the SD card is inserted right here. Here we have the, also the little icon showing how to insert your card properly into your camera. So let's press next. Got it. All right, here we have our camera already configured. So let's go into our camera. All right, and from here we have to go into our camera options. And we have to go into advanced settings right here and set camera account. Let's go in here. We have to create the account for the camera. Um, we have to create this account so we can connect the camera through our PC, through the application that we will be using in a while. I will show you the step by step how to do it. So you have to select your username for the camera and the password. I recommend to select to set strong password. I will just set a simple easy password um, because I'm just showing you how it works but set the strong password. Now we will be using this username and this password to log in to the to get access to our camera. So let's press create right now and then we have the network settings right here. We will have to go in here and we have the IP address of our camera. We will also need it to connect to the camera using our uh, PC application. So keep that in mind. You will find your IP address right here. And now that's all about uh, configuring the application
configuring the camera through our application and right now I will show you how to do it on your PC. Alright, so as we are in the browser right now, uh, I will show you how to configure your camera with the software called iSpy. So uh, search for the iSpy for on your browser and right here we have the official iSpy uh, website. So let's go in here, go into download and it is recommended as you can see to download Agent DVR for new installs. So we already have selected Agent DVR for Windows. So you simply have to download this one. I already did this and I have my file right here. So you simply have to extract the zip file like this. And here we have the installer. So let me turn on the installer. All right. And so let's press next. We have to change the install location. I mean, you don't actually have to change the location of the installer, but I will do so. So next you have to simply press the next button. As you can see, the application is installing. Now the installa installation continues in the browser, as you can see. All right, so now as everything is installed, we have to add our camera to this program. So we have to click and edit the icon to get started. We simply can pr uh, press click on this on this screen so right here we have devices and as you can see there are no devices so we have to press this one and select new device and we will configure this camera using the onvif protocol so we will select this one and right uh, press ok and right here we can change the name of the camera and here we have the source type the onvif one and now we have to go into the source type settings here and we have to enter the user data that we made previously for the camera that was the camera nickname and the password was 123456 and right here we have the service URL and this is the our camera available so we have to select this one and right here for the URLs, for the live URL and for the record URL, we have to press this button, get video URLs. And as you can see, here are two op options found. This one is low resolution URL for live viewing. And this one is high resolution for direct recording. Here we can change the resolution, we will get the higher one. And basically, that should be all. We have to press OK, OK, OK. Okay, and right now we have to turn on our camera right here in the bottom left corner. And as you can see, everything is working, everything is fine. So basically that's how you connect your camera with the, with the computer. Uh, you can discover some more options, probably right here in the edit. Here are some advanced options there probably. Some advanced options, some FFMPEG options. Here are also more advanced options. So basically, it's all up to you to discover all of them, and to have fun. You can even change the grid, the view of the... Oh, right here you can change the view probably, yes. So, as you can see, you can now customize how do you want to see your data. So basically, that's all about the setting up the camera on your PC. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.